Deep in the ever-shifting waters of the Atlantic Ocean rests the gorgeous underwater city of Atlantis. Within the city and its surrounding regions, farmers raise and cultivate some of the most handsome and exotic candies in the very fertile ocean floor. While scientists in the USA have begun creating synthetic candy through sinister lab experiments designed to replicate the famed Atlantean crop. This is the story of one man's quest to save his farm, family, and cultural tradition. This is Atlanteans in America. Presume you're Mr. Dorado? That is correct. Drake Oswald Dorado, that is, Atlantis' most beloved taffy farmer. Drake breezed through taffy school at an early age after following his father in the family tradition of growing only the best variety of natural taffy. He soon met the love of his life, Rosie, while taking a correspondence course regarding the economics of underdeveloped candy. They soon were married and began their beautiful family, keeping their farming tradition intact. And who could forget their appearance on Atlanta's most talked about game show, Daring Double. Now worth 40, or you can take the physical challenge. Which of the following is not slang for pants? Eel skins, leg bags, or picture frames? Physical challenge. On your mark, get set. Ron Satorius, I'm the Jansen Candy Company's new deep water sales director. I've been hearing great things about your operation down here. Yes, let's go for a stroll. I'll take you by the purple coral. It's beautiful this time of year. So tell me, how are things? How's the family? Thanks for asking. The family's great. Dan is in his senior year at Plankton University. The killer sea wolves. And Margaret? Mr. Dorado, I appreciate the hospitality, but things are tightening up at JCC. I'm prepared to offer you a very reasonable sum for 12 kilos of your recent taffy crop. But I gotta tell you right now, we're not gonna be able to tender the generous rate we've given you over the past few years. Furthermore, our submarine's in the shop. Well, I reckon you're gonna need a new sure, periscope. Man. Shoot, and <laughs> new brake lights. I'm gonna need you to throw in those beautiful weave kelp taffy containers so that we can get your taffy up to the surface. I'd be happy to sell you the taffy containers. You see, my wife Rosie mends together several different species of kelp to create the perfect taffy vessel. It really is a marvel as it locks in freshness yet allows the taffy to breathe. I'm sure a man in your position knows how important having a relaxed taffy crop is to the overall taste. Oh, I understand. But someone in your position must also realize that without Jansen Candy, you've got no market and no way to sell your crop. And you're in a tight bind, mister, as we're buying for the first quarter. Look, the market for taffy always dips when it's not state fair season. I've been doing this for 25 years. I know that taffy is a cyclical market. <laughs> Excuse me? Listen here, Taffy Man. In America, there are scientists and computers hard at work as we speak, developing ways to make farmers like you obsolete. You should be honored that the Jansen Candy Company has interest in your work. Likewise, I've talked with our CEO, Joe, and he told me that you don't even include jokes with your taffy. You cannot continue to expect us to write the jokes and package your taffy without a drop in price. Maybe if Sweet Cheeks over there would learn to write a joke. Look, I'm the best taffy farmer on earth, understood? You think you can drop down to my farm and disrespect my taffy and my wife? I'll give you to the count of ten to get off my property. I don't need you to sell my taffy. I'll sell it on my own. We'll see about that, you subhuman. Jake? 
Why did the taffy salesman rush off? How much of the crop is he going to buy? Well, uh... You did it again, didn't you? I refuse to sell to that sea dragon. Drake, you can't continue to run off salesmen just because they want you to throw in a kelp container or two. America is experiencing a major recession. It's all over the Atlantean Business Journal. Maybe we should just take what we can get. Or maybe it's time that we... No, Rosie, don't say it. We've worked too hard and long to let a few greedy salesmen determine the value of our crop. There is no denying the facts. Taffy sales are way below sea level. But I refuse to accept inadequate compensation. I'm going to America. Promise me you'll stay here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it cool, but I'm losing it. I can't stay, baby. Rodriguez is in the hospital. Taffy farmers are putting it on the line. Nothing's gonna happen to us. I'll call you when I'm in America. brings yourself to America? Well, taffy. You see, I'm a taffy farmer. Taffy sales have gone way below sea level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I let you into America, I'm gonna have to sample your candy. Hmm. I'll go with salt water. So what do you think? So what do you think? It's decent. Don't you want to see my ID? Excuse me? What do you know about the Customs Bureau, huh, Candyman? You think you can handle the pressures of being the only thing between Atlantis and America? Step out of the car, sir. Meanwhile at the Customs Station, and more precisely at the body scanner. Scan Subject blue. You're in great shape. Thanks. I use the shake weight six minutes a day. Shake weight, huh? Who would have guessed? And only six minutes a day? <laughs> You're free to go, bud. Drake soon realizes he has his work cut out for him. Jeez, I have my work cut out for me. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you care to buy some taffy? I'm from Atlantis. I'm a taffy farmer. I grow my- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you can just come up here and just push a bonbon on us Americans? Is that a yes or a no? No! You won't make a single dollar without the proper taffy selling cart, and no cart equals no sales. Do you know where I could drum up a cart? Find some scrap metal, like that arrow saw over there. Just build one or something. Now, move along, you're blocking my son. Get 
one of them, them big old drinks. Do you have peanuts? All I want on a hot day at the beach. Doesn't even sell you have some water on your What kind of taffy? Big Jeff. Dixie Lane Team Hey baby, it's me. I trust all is well in Atlantis. Things in America are disappointing. I haven't sold a single piece of taffy, nor have I made any friends. Perhaps I should just come home. See you later. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to buy one morsel of your taffy. Do you have salt water? So sad. By feelings of guilt and shame, Mr. Dorado does not recognize his own wife's voice. Madam, the taffy card is closed. Just Take whatever you feel like. The saltwater flavor is over here. Rosie? Oh, Drake, I'm so happy to see you. How are things at the farm? Things are going well. Rodriguez is out of the hospital. That's great. I've been thinking a lot about what you said to me before I left. After 25 years of farming, bit of a head cold. I'd love to buy some taffy. My family will go nuts over this stuff. Wow, absolutely. What flavors do you want? Let me see here. I'll take uh, mocha chip, uh, pine forest, uh, oh the missus is gonna love this, uh, and I'll take all the, all the rest of the vanilla. No problem. Let me see here. Rats. Wow, this is embarrassing. I'm, I'm all out of cash. Do you accept American Express? This has been Atlanteans in America.
We must do all we can to keep Taffy Farming alive and well in Atlantis. Next question. Can you tell us about your taffy cereal you're making? Will it have marshmallows? Next question. What can you tell us about the sequel to Atlanteans in America? At this point, a sequel is unclear. Now watch this drive. All right. Hey.